welcome back to the Craftcaster Girls channel. We have something really fun, and Kristen actually just made up the name for it. <laughs> it is called a vision hanger, and yeah, you, that's what we're calling you it. You probably have not seen this before because it's the, original. It's original. You came up with this? I found it on Pinterest, but I did a variation of it because I love watercolor and I love glitter, and someone had made a glitter hanger, and I just fell in love because like you said, it's perfect for hanging up your little inspirations, your little projects and it's stuff. It's adorable. Yes, and it's perfect for like adults and kids both because you can um, make them and the kids can hang up their little artwork so you can switch them out weekly. Same with adults, same kind of thing. So I've made a ton of different like little watercolors for them, so. So you're probably wondering who our third craft caster is today. <laughs> this is Brittany. She is a Pinspiration Muse. So she's at our favorite crafting facility. And you know, when I thought of Pinspiration, I thought it was just things that you would find on Pinterest. But they have these amazing people here, like Brittany, who are coming up with these great amazing. ideas. Yeah. You're the exact person who should be working to work. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I saw it and I was like, I have to work there. Yes. <laughs> okay, so Perfect. what do we need to make a vision hanger? So we have our hangers. We've got some Mod Podge because we're going to be using that to fix the glue on there. We've got um, all kinds of watercolors and here at Pinspiration we've got like so many different colors to choose from. Um, and then you have your watercolor paper, we've got some paper towels for blotting, okay. and that's kind of it. So okay. um, first thing, we're going to start with the hanger and you guys can use your little foam brushes. Now these hangers I have in my closet at home from Ikea mm -hmm. because they're super cheap and uh, I hang my boots from them. Did you oh, know that's that? Oh, that's so smart. That. I like at Nordstrom, that's how they hang them. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, maybe I'll just hang my boots with this glittery hanger. Hanger. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Will you pass me a... Well, I guess we can share. We share I guess we can share. Oh, I did have some over here. Yes. I'm sorry. We can share. Sharing is Now, do we do this on both sides or just one side? Um, I just did it on the one side because it's going to be hanging against the wall. Okay. Most okay. likely, and, you know, you don't really see it. I mean, yeah. If you're hanging it in your closet for boots, then yeah, you might want to do both sides. <laughs> Kristen, you for when I come over and judge your closet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we've got lots of different glitter over here. I think you guys decided oh. on. Okay, so now that you've got your glitter on there, you just tap it off a little bit. Okay. So you've got the extra stuff, and then we're just gonna let it dry. You set it aside. Okay. Let okay. it dry. And the next. I just want to point out, as per usual, <laughs> Kristen is fluffy pink unicorn colors, and mine is black. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we complement yeah. each other so well. We do. We do. Okay. We okay. Of the spectrum. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're saying bye bye to that for now. So okay. This is my favorite part. Yeah. Okay. So just take a paper towel. Okay. We've got some for blotting. We've got some to put underneath. So you take your piece of watercolor paper. Choose your colors. So you guys wanted pink and you said like bluish. Yeah. yeah. Pink. So we've got as far as blue goes. You can blend colors, so like I was blending these two to make a really cool turquoisey color. Done. Okay. But basically, just dip and go. Do I need to swirl. Yeah, you might want to mix yourself. Are we little. feeling good about this color? Yeah, that's beautiful. Ooh. Okay, so just go all the way across. Yep. And so like I started, and what's kind of cool is it will like kind of gather and kind of. So it's, I mean, it's up to you how much coverage you do. I like to add, like, leave, kind of like you've got the edges left here. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think it kind of adds to the um, fun watercolor effect. Like, it really makes it look Can I add another color or, like, I don't know. Um, I've never tried that. Okay. If you want to try it, no. you can. But I'm, I would worry that it would turn it, like, brown Black, okay. Yeah. Is this just cardstock? No, this is actually watercolor paper. Okay. Um, you could probably use cardstock, but you want to make sure that it's, like, a nice, um, heavy, Stock. So okay. this is a 140 pound paper. So okay. it, it will curl and then you'll start to see it as it dries, it'll kind of start to lay back flat again. Okay. All so right. Loving this. Now we just have to kind of wait for it to dry a little bit. It shouldn't take too long because we put it on directly. And as soon as we do that, we're going to start working on writing. <laughs> Should have brought my blow dryer. Okay, so we've got our dried watercolor prints now. So we are going to take our pencils and we're going to write our little phrase, our little saying, whatever you guys want to put. What's your phrase going to be? Mm. I know what mine is. Okay, what is it? Um, I really like a song by the Eli Young Band and like the theme in it is keep on dreaming even if it breaks your heart. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say keep on dreaming. That's oh, cool. I like that. Okay. I have horrible handwriting though. 
so that, that's what's cool about the pencil and the watercolor in this paper because if you, no matter how hard you write with the pencil, it seems to erase easily. I actually do like writing bees, and then you just inspired me. <laughs> Be joyous. That's oh, cool. perfect. Yep. Now, yeah. something to keep in mind, I feel like, is make sure you're writing below where the hanger is going to be. Yes. So I started kind of yeah, lower. Perfect. Yep. And then so the key to, these are paint markers, and they're really cool. They're super shimmery, and they show up really nice and bright and they are squared tip. So this is gonna kind of give you that little sort of calligraphy look. Oh, beautiful. Now see, you've got like little pencil marks. Yeah. As soon as that's done drying, you can erase them and then you are all set. Very I pretty. love it. Good job. Oh my gosh. Haley has like this insanely beautiful <laughs> cursive handwriting over here. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Mine sucks compared to that. <laughs> Beautiful. Yay! Looks great. Wow. I'm really impressed, Haley. <laughs> it got a little sketchy there at the end. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to even show mine now. <laughs> That's what's fun. And what's cool about this particular project here is that everyone's going to get two pieces of paper. So two, two chances? Yes. Two chances. So I used to know if you screwed up the first like time. Like me. I didn't practice. know I screwed up up until I saw yours. <laughs> I feel like I did it too high because I have to hang it, you know? Oh my gosh, you could be really like, really extra creative and hang it upside down. That's true. <laughs> Put it somewhere where you can see it. Like, I don't think the hanger has to go down that far to actually grip it, so it should be good. Let's be honest though, this is not as good as the model that we saw when we came in here. Well, that's because Brittany, I'm it. gonna call her BB now that we know all the BB. <laughs> BB. All the Look at this. BB is the bomb. This Thank triple you. B is not this. <laughs> so. Hey, this isn't close to any of them. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, but you know what? You know what's gonna save my project? Your hanger? This amazing hanger. So, so cute. I love it. Keep on dreaming. Yep. Keep on dreaming your handwriting will get better. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. Possibly the funniest back. thing you've ever said. <laughs> Oops. <it came>. Oops. <laughs> I've also seen people like make um, like just numbers and then it's kind of like a calendar. So oh, you can yeah. do like a Christmas countdown. Oh, I love it. My mind that. immediately that goes so to Christmas. Cute. Yes, that's adorable. Okay, so there we go. Good job. Well, Brittany, you are really awesome. Fun. Thank you. Our Pinspiration Muse. <laughs> Brittany. Thank you. And uh, don't forget, don't just do it yourself. Do it with us. And you can do this here at, at Inspiration. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. Hey, keep on dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good job, Chris. Just keep dreaming. Hey.